Oh my god. She's a chef. She's a runner, she's a chef. And you know, residency, I still have so many more years left and sometimes you kind of lose the picture and the big goal. Kevin said, gotta get my own place in June. Dance emoji, dance emoji, dance emoji. Like Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Guess who's actually home today? Hello, what's up? <laughs> it is a Sunday. It's Kev's rare weekend off, but the thing about vlogging is that we never actually pre-plan when we film and vlog the vlogs. The sit down videos I plan out on my own, but the vlogs are really only due when we feel like we're in the mood to vlog. And so today we woke up and Kevin was like, hey, let's vlog. So really? That's what you said. Kev, do you want to give him an update? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> That's the I'm update. In there. So this morning we're actually making some breakfast sandwiches. We went to Costco to get a bunch of artisan rolls. And let's just make some sandwiches for breakfast. And maybe we'll do like a little picnic or go to the zoo or something. Can we make more than two of them? Yeah, let's make like four. Okay, we've got turkey, pesto. I'm really excited for this. It's the Costco basil pesto. Wow, this quality of egg. Look how red the yolk is. Orange the yolk is. Look at that. Well, we got the like fancy Costco eggs this time. Wow. You're so smooth. I like master chef. chef. Except for the chill of the white sheet. What? It wasn't me. Okay. I didn't even take the cap off. Who? Me. <laughs> You're just careful. There's going to be a lot of... I know. Wow. Dude, it's because you never put the cap back on. So I when the cap is on there, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, ho, ho. It's magic. You know. We're going to get a copyrighted thing. I'm so good at singing. Exactly. Full on production here. We've got Something smells perfect. artisan bread toasting here. Our it eggs cook in. Is that the poster? I swear you just, do you just love talking over me when I talk? <laughs> Is that your favorite activity? <laughs> and then we've got our cheese. It came with a nice little Ziploc thing, but Nikki's really smart and she cut a hole on the side. But, um, you know. But life happens. Sometimes I feel like you hear me, but you don't hear me. Like you're not actually. Oh, is that a thing? Honey. On oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Honestly, kind of fancy. Like I don't even know who we are. We're experimenting. Wait, I feel like this is actually going to be so good. We have vegetables. Oh shoot! Do we stick? have. I thought we had lettuce. I thought I got a head of lettuce the other day. Maybe that was like three weeks ago and I'm hallucinating. You want to do little tomatoes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I bought the little tomatoes for. Wow, so housewife. <laughs> Thanks. Professional tomato chopper. Mickey Rye. I feel like these need to be like squished. Can you just put them upside down so they lay flat? Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. You're so smart. Is that enough? I just spread it. I don't like, want to double dip it. It looks pretty fancy. About to taste test Which our one? sandwiches. Which one's yours? I don't care. I was like, there It looks like a tomato capri, you know, like the capri sandwich. But no. <laughs> get ready, three, three, two, one. Sweet. <laughs> I already put it in my mouth. Get ready, three, two, one. I literally just ate like all bread. Mmm, it's so good. It's like all bread. Dude, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. Why not 10? What are you missing? You forgot the lighter. Dude, that's pretty good. Oh my god. She's a chef. She's a runner, she's a chef. What? What did you give this for a rating? 10 out of 10. Fair. It's about the people that you make the food and eat the food with too. Like the bottles. Good answer! Hello guys, Mickey's doing work so she told me to vlog for a little bit. Bottles, come here! So, on my kind of second month of second year of residency and the first month has been a little bit rough. A little bit rough, rough, rough. I'm glad I have this guy to support me and 
Mickey and everybody else, but you know, it's, it's tough. Our program, the hours are a little bit <laughs> We work Monday through Friday from about like 5.30 to 6 to 7 p.m. So that's already 12, 13 hours a day. But as an R2, we're often on call. It's home call, meaning that, you know, if we don't get called in, we stay at home. But more often than not, we get called into the hospital in the middle of the night to do, to see a consult or we get paged maybe three or four times at least at night. You still have to do work as if you had a good night's sleep. And you know, residency, I still have so many more years left and sometimes you kind of lose the picture and the big goals and you first come into residency and you first apply to medical school a lot of those things that were originally super simple or like you know pretty exciting but there are only so many permutations to the same problem you see someone with a certain issue and you're like oh let's think about it but after you do it a few more times it's it's a little bit less novel i mean you're doing good work and helping folks but doing these things at three or four in the morning after not getting much sleep is not the most exciting thing in the world you know bring some snacks make some good food and just take like you know five to ten minutes here and there just to for yourself because ultimately you know you can just rush through all the motions of doing things but you need to be okay yourself before you can take care of other people, so... I need to learn a little bit from the Buttles. He knows how to relax. You know how to relax! You know how to relax and make sure you get the food that you need every day. He's a good self-advocate, babe. Yep. We've actually recently been researching a little bit about van life and that kind of stuff because the on-call rooms are fine but it's like not comfy, it's not your space, like it's maybe... Like dirty maybe a little bit. We need to have like a little nice... A little like nook where you can like have yeah. you know everything set up your computer set up and so that unless you like really need to go in you can just do your work remotely from your car and get a couple ounces of sleep and I can drive you around when you're on your 36 hour calls too and yeah, I we think need it's to, a lot of fun. We need to consult mama and papa Rai for their van life expertise. I know. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen plenty of your favorite YouTubers talk about it and I'm super excited to tell you that Skillshare is actually sponsoring today's video. If you've been living under a rock and somehow haven't seen anything about them yet, they are actually an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. I love Skillshare because it allows me the opportunity to not only, you know, dig deeper into my existing passions but also pick up some new hobbies. Kevin and I both consider ourselves lifelong learners in and outside of medicine and some of my favorite Skillshare classes are are related to productivity, financial literacy, and even some about cooking. My favorite Skillshare class by far is actually by Marcus Brown Lee. It's a course called YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. Kevin and I obviously watch very different types of content on YouTube, but we both love watching MKBHD's videos because the quality of the production is just immaculate. Something that really resonated with me is that his intention for every video is to be respectful and mindful of his audience's time and attention. He actually Actually writes down every single word he plans to say so that he can keep things as concise as possible. I also love how he showed that he used Google Docs to keep everything organized and these are all definitely things I'm going to be implementing for the future. I love Skillshare because I really do feel like it supports my personal development, there are no ads so it's really easy for me to focus on the learning and they're constantly launching new premium content and with that said the first thousand of you guys who actually click on the link in the description box below will get a free one month trial to Skillshare. There is literally no catch. I highly recommend you guys sign up. A little really goes a long way when it comes to investing in yourself. Hey friends, so we just went to Starbucks to film some content. So we've got our green tea latte as well as a something iced coffee with a splash of heavy cream and two pumps of plastic syrup. Yeah. It's just regular iced coffee. Yeah, like such a specific someone. order, babe. We tried to film a, a thing where we shotgun that iced coffee and we made an incision right there, but it's it's not really leaking. But maybe we, it'll leak we while we have made a horizontal incision? Like it's part of the pressure. Like I think you had like a twist. Like when you do a trach or something, when you like have to make an incision, you have to like twist the blade to like okay, open you want to do it? You still have an opportunity big, to try. You make a big mess. <laughs> so yeah, we're just chilling today. We're gonna go and, I don't know, do a little shopping. Maybe, do we get some shoes? Yeah, Kev wants some new ultra boots, so. No, I just want some shoes for the work because they stink. My regular work shoes apparently are, I had them for a while. Well, that's what happens when you work for like 16 hours a day. Yeah, and then like the soles are kind of non-existent. Really? Oh, I haven't even looked. Oh, it's like super flat, I can like whoosh. Okay, well, let's go shopping. Pretty matching. Yeah, matcha green tea latte. 
masks. You wanna take the stairs here, honey? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's be fit and exercise. I've been eating way too much recently. Like, I feel like I'm just so bloated. Dang, babe, you're really making me exercise today. Are you trying to tell me something? Okay, Kev wants to go to RH. Check out the cloud couch that will never hurt us, but we can take a look. Are you a hand sanitizer connoisseur? This is kind of sticky, it's not very good. Is this like real? Don't touch it. Got a fancy elevator. You're living your best life. Can we afford anything in here? No. <laughs> okay. Right, we're back home. We are back home. I had a little bit of a tummy ache, so we had some chicken noodle soup, but I'm now feeling better. Did we buy anything? Shopping. I need some shoes. I don't know what shoes to get. Anybody have any like... Recommendations, recommendations for best shoes. For shoes in the OR. I mean, there's like people who wear the clogs and like the... No, babe, you're so, you're so clumsy, you're gonna trip I'm over gonna the clogs. I need like sneakers, but then the sneakers stink, you know? So we asked you guys probably two months ago um, what you guys wanted to see in the videos. And um, one of the very popular responses, most of you guys know that Kev slid in my DMs quite a couple of years ago, and so... Just to talk. Yeah, just to talk. We were just friends for the longest time. We're about to reveal the first message that I sent to Mickey as I slid into her direct messages. The DMs. The DMs. <laughs> okay. It's not that exciting, is it? Yeah, it's kind of like derpy, I think. We have it pulled up on the Google Doc. It's the original Google Doc that Kevin created long ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you, want, do you want to read yours in your voice and then yes. I'll read mine? Okay. Do you know what field slash specialty you want to work in? Question mark. I can't believe you started with that. Like, we didn't even know each other. So, Kevin followed me on Instagram. Yeah, Mommy was helping me manage my Insta and she followed Kev back. And that's why this came into my direct messages instead of like the, the other tab. And then, and then how, how long, long did it take you to respond? Oh, like only 30 minutes. It only took me 30 minutes? Good job. Dang, I was not playing hard minutes. to get. Okay, I said, I have a pretty good idea, exclamation mark, smiley face. How about yourself? Now, how long did it take for me to respond? 20 minutes? Wow, I'm bad. Yeah, oh my god, I thought you were gonna respond right away. Hmm, since I'm only 2.5 weeks into rotations, my mind is pretty open. Oh my god, you just started rotations back then? Yeah, it was like four years ago. You were a little baby. This was the beginning of 2018. Oh wow, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I hope you're enjoying rotations, smiley face. And then... How is med school? Did, damn, did I wait like a whole like seven hours? Oh, I'm currently on surgery right now. I'm probably was literally in surgery. <laughs> I'm learning a lot, but the hours are kind of crazy. Story of my life. Oh, remember when you're like still trying to apply to medical school and you're asking me questions? Oh yeah, can we read that part? Yeah. Wait, can we read that part where you were so dry and you were like not giving me any advice? I was trying to ask Kev for advice on how to get into wow, med school. Wow, look at these emojis. Because I was trying, trying to, to... I was so interested. The... What do you mean? I was still interested in trying look to go to med info. school. So I started texting him and said, Honey, look at this. Wow. <laughs> so, so he's like talking about med school and how hard it is. And then I respond and said, So what is name of your med school looking for? Why well, didn't say it was hard? Hmm, I emoji. never said it was hard. And then Kev said, Are you asking for a friend? LOL. Haha. <laughs> I said, asking for myself. Oh my god, you're so savage. I'm always savage. Can you read that? No. Can you read it? Yeah, I was joking. I said, asking for myself, and Kev responded with, yeah, I was joking. You're so funny. I'm dying. <laughs> well, that whole conversation about trying to get into med school and everything was is within the first month of us becoming friends, right? Like two months later, this is three months later. And then three months later, randomly, you're like, when do you apply for nursing residencies? Okay, and then randomly, and then the next time you talk to me is another two months later, and you say, 
How was the interview? <laughs> Barely started. Ha ha. Can I ask what your thought process is? Like, do you just text me when you're bored? Or... Yeah. Well, we were talking about how awkward we were. Yeah, we really bonded over this idea of being like really awkward Asians Asian together. So, oh, this is funny. Remember, I was like at an interview and I'm like, he's a, uh, I'm interviewing blah, blah, blah. I said, eee, you got this. Go impress them. When's match day? Haha, <laughs> thanks. LOL. March 20th. Uh, emoji with the little the sweat drop. Here. Want to distract me on that day and then the cry, cry, cry emoji times four. Oh my god, I totally ignored you. I was like, oh my god, so soon. Do you guys get to do the thing where you open it on stage? <laughs> Wait, the funny thing is though that I actually did spend match day with you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but we were just friends back then, so. Well, we were dating on match day. Yeah, I know, but we were just friends back here, so I yeah. wasn't gonna agree to spend match day with you. Okay, here. Just... Make it tricky, man. What do you mean? Tricky, tricky. Gonna get my own place in June. I like oh, how you said that. Because I live, I lived in the sketchy place. Mm -hmm. When I was in the bay, like the <laughs> had a shared bathroom and like shared living space. It was pretty sketchy. It was yeah. like a curtain. <laughs> How do you know? Because you've been there. Of course, I've been there, my yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I feel like I'm flushing. <laughs> Kevin said. Gotta get my own place in June. Dance emoji, dance emoji, dance emoji. Like the lady in the red dress. We were just friends for one, two, like two years, right? Yeah. I was single the entire time, wink wink. What, what does that mean? Is that why the texts were so... Rouchy. Were you flirting with me though? I don't know, not really. I don't think so. I'm just talking to someone who have similar interests in a life. Here. I think we've grown a lot. Were those the good times? No, yeah, we had so much more drive and passion back then. Speak for yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have so much. <laughs> we've come so far though. Yeah. From you asking me if I would hang out with you on match day to yeah. us crying together on match day. Mm -hmm. to, to being in Seattle. Yay. Yay! Okay, you guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for continued episodes of Mickey with Kevin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to come up with new catchphrases. So we always have this inside joke between the two of us where we say, I tried my best, but sometimes your best is not enough. And we wanna change that and make it positive. And we're gonna say, your, your best, best is, is all, enough. Your best is always your enough. Your best is enough. So that's a new catchphrase. Don't forget your 10 out of 10. Don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. And your best is enough. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! So <laughs>